I have a few days off and I have some projects that I want to finish or work on and some exciting things possibly happening in the next few days. So I thought I would just do a chill studio vlog. Well, not 100% studio because we're gonna go out at some point, hopefully. I'm working on this little painting here. I wanna finish that. I'm feeling good right now because I just went to a Pilates class, just showered, did my skincare, and now I feel very moist. Today is March 1st. I thought we were still in February. There's a few things to consider in the next few weeks. I'm going back up north on the 24th. I have three weeks still here in Montreal. I have some stuff I want to finish before I go. I have some prepping to do. That's what we're going to focus on in the next few weeks. I would love to finish up my series on Nordic landscapes. Although I'm going to the same place, now this time around is going to be winter, so there's going to be a lot of snow. So I was thinking that I will probably be inspired to paint more landscapes, possibly of the same places, but covered in snow, which I think is going to be very pretty. So I would love to finish the landscapes I'm working on right now, which are more like fall landscapes. I've also pre-filmed a bunch of videos. I'm not sure if I have enough to cover my entire stay there, but we're gonna do the best we can. I don't think I'm gonna be able to film there and create new videos there. I will bring my camera and I'll film some clips and I'm planning on doing a vlog after when I come back and explain to you what things I did and show you the winter landscape and whatever I painted while I was up there. But yeah, I don't think I'll be able to film and talk to you and create like I'm doing now because I'll be probably living with a roommate. And I like to keep my on-camera life and my job separate. And I'm quite shy about doing that in public. <laughs> then I need to plan some food which is why I'm, I'm planning on cooking a little bit this week. I want to bring some stuff that I can put in the freezer. Exciting thing, tomorrow, tomorrow, <laughs> I'm so French. Tomorrow is the Nuit Blanche in Montreal. It's something that happens once a year. Things stay open the whole night. There's a bunch of events up to six in the morning and more. There are events for everybody, culinary events, there's artistic events. There's a website and you can decide whatever you want to do because there's so many things to see. For me, I want to focus on the art side of things and end up at a nightclub. So this is going to be super exciting. I can't wait. So I have to check the schedule today to decide whatever I want to do. It's supposed to be so warm tomorrow. So it's going to be very nice to be outside. Yeah, it's minus three tomorrow. And with the sun, that means it's gonna be warm.
Imagine on pas eu un accident puis le ah. film. Paf! Un miracle qui rebolle. It's not even real. C'est ça. Ouais, ouais. C'est des chefs en qui, là. Il y a sur le monde comme ça. Il doit avoir un rond quelque part. Il doit bien avoir un rond. Je sais pas quoi, il n'y a pas de rond. This is two days later. Yesterday, I filmed some clips here and there. I had such a big day. So I started the day by going to a CPR class. And I remember a few years ago, it was free. For all the healthcare workers, usually your job would just send you to a class and you would do it and that's it. No need to pay. But now we have to pay $80 every year to get the certification done. So I had to go on my weekend off and do that very early in the morning and then i wanted to buy some stuff at the art store mainly some replacement pencils for my pencils i'm using for my paintings that i'm doing right now some of them are getting a bit shorter i really wanted also to find some white gouache and i was unsuccessful unfortunately none of the art stores how many did i visit in one day i visited one that's near to my house then i visited Hashem and then I visited two Dossier so four art stores in one day none of them had professional gouache some of them had acrylic gouache but it's not what I'm looking for I'm looking for regular traditional gouache none of them had them so I'm gonna go tomorrow I have to go downtown so I'm gonna go to the art store that's there because that's where I bought all of my Windsor & Newton gouaches so hopefully there I can find the white. I also bought some stuff that I did not plan. So it ended up being a very expensive day yesterday. I bought two Daniel Smith watercolors, turquoise. I have cobalt, teal, blue, and I have Taylor turquoise. Just because in my palette, the turquoise I'm using right now is Van Gogh turquoise blue. And I was thinking I should maybe replace it with a high quality color. So I kind of bought these two on a whim, did not do much research before. I just read quickly that the cobalt teal blue is very good for color mixing because it's more transparent. So it's not gonna muddy your colors as much. I just thought maybe it wouldn't be green enough. So I said, you know what, might as well get the phthalo. Uh, turquoise because it's gonna be a very intense color and in some mixes I think it could be super pretty. I'm going to do some swatches soon in another video. What else? I bought some watercolor papers. I bought four big sheets. They're pretty expensive but it's just that I had the car and usually I don't have a car when I go to the art store so bringing back big sheets of paper is always an adventure. Taking the metro with these sheets of papers and making sure they don't, I don't bump into anything, they don't bend. It's very stressful. 
and it takes a lot of space so if the metro is a little bit crowded it's really not ideal in the end i managed to take four sheets three arches two fine grain and one rough grain 650 gsm and i also decided to try a fabriano i think it's rough grain yeah, rough grain, 640 GSM as well. So that's what I did. And then I went to the Nuit Blanche. I had made this big schedule. It was super art centric. So I wanted to go to some galleries. I wanted to do some art lessons. There was a lesson with Urban Sketchers Montreal where I think they talked about watercolor and I'm not exactly sure, but I really wanted to do it. And it was very disappointing because we were able to do none of them basically. We arrived pretty early for these events and they were all full. It was cold, it was raining outside. So that wasn't very comfortable either. We went to a museum, we saw some nice exhibitions. We wanted to go to this place where they had an improv night. And when we went there, we walked there. The line was so long, for sure we would have never been able to get into the place. So that was another disappointment, we couldn't go. And then we wanted to end up the night at a club. We had a few options. So we decided to go to the closest one basically. And at first we were waiting for the coat check and I could hear the music and it was so bad. So I was making a lot of effort just to stay positive at this point. I almost wanted to go home because I had woken up very early too at 6 a.m. to go to my CPR class. So I was tired, the music sucked, the whole evening was a disappointment pretty much. We decided to stay a little bit and the DJ changed and the music got better. It was so good in the end, it was very fun. We danced and came back home quite late. So it was a nice end to the evening, a nice end to the day. I'll show you something, but you will see a better swatch in a future video. So this is kind of a spoilers, but just for you. So if you get to that point in the video and you see the spoilers, write me something completely random in the comments. If somebody looks at the comments, they have no idea what you're talking about and I'll know. If you write me something random or weird, I'll know, okay? So these are the colors that I swatched. Let me zoom you in. So at first I decided to swatch my Van Gogh turquoise green because I don't know why I thought this was the color I had in my palette, but it's not. The color I have is Van Gogh turquoise blue. I swatched this one and then I decided to swatch the two new colors that I got. So I got the Daniel Smith cobalt teal blue, which is this one. It's very pretty. It's very granulating and it has this nice green color in it. So I'm very happy about it. And then I swatched the Daniel Smith Phthalo Turquoise. A very pretty color. It's very intense. Then I realized this is not the color I have in my palette. It's this one, the Van Gogh Turquoise Blue. And when I took the tube out, I realized that it's all dried. So anyways, I would have had to buy a new tube. So it made me feel better about buying these ones impulsively. <laughs> but maybe one thing I could do, I thought about that, is I could managed to cut the tube and just maybe try to scrape everything or reactivate the paint and put it in a pan so at least I don't waste it. So what I did to be able to swatch it is I just wet my paintbrush, I put it inside and I did this swatch here. But what I'm planning to do later, maybe I'll film that tomorrow, is a video where I swatch them officially in my swatch book and I work on some color mixes. I should think about refilling my palette too before I go up north.
I don't think I told you, but I also bought this two brushes. This one is a camel hair brush. I have no idea what the brand is, but it was very cheap, so I decided to try it. And the other one I bought is a Princeton round number four. I've heard so many artists use those, especially the UK artists. But I saw this one. It was a size I don't have. I thought it would be interesting to get it. So I'm going to use it now for the little details. back from the outside world Today is Monday, as I told you I had to go downtown in the morning so I went and then I decided that I should go to Uniqlo because I thought that since I'm going back up north soon I would like to have like a banana bag, these famous Uniqlo bags because I thought it would be really useful. I remember last time when I was up there I would go out for a little hike for just half a day and my backpack was too big for that. I had to bring my like city backpack, the one where I can put my laptop in, so it's not very comfortable to take on a hike. It doesn't have like the back support for that. But I couldn't also bring my hiking backpack because I'm limited in the amount of stuff I can bring. So I thought if I had like a bigger size strap bag, I could just roll it. It's gonna take zero space and I can use it for a day hike, you know, a short hike. Just put my water bottle in there and some snacks and I would be good to go. And you know, when you're in Uniqlo, you go there for one thing and you just leave with a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I bought this cute banana bag in the color yellow and I watched a ton of TikToks on these videos. They're viral apparently. They're very big inside. They fit a lot of stuff. So I got that, I got some clothes. I got another fabric bag and then I went to an art store for the gouache that I was looking for and then I went there I saw the gouache section and they only had the zinc white not the permanent white I wanted a zinc white but I also wanted a permanent white because I read that zinc white is better for color mixes because it's more transparent so it doesn't dull the colors as much but you also kind of want a permanent white if you want to do some highlights and if you want a more opaque color. So I wanted both of them. So I ended up getting the two zinc whites that they had left. And then I thought about another place I was meaning to visit for a long time. It's in the berry ucam metro station. They have this UCAM co-op store. And I didn't know if I could buy some stuff from there because I'm not a student there. But I decided I might as well just check it out. They have 
some very interesting things as well. Different diversity than the the Sire and HM and Kama Pigma. They just had more stuff and they had gouache. A small selection, only one brand. They had the Holbein acrylic gouache, but also the Holbein traditional gouache and pretty much all the colors. So I got my permanent white there. So happy. It's a good place to keep in mind when I'm looking for some more specific stuff. The prices were pretty good as well. Now I'm gonna go and bake some bread. I am working on some English muffins. So yesterday I started the dough. I had to let it rise the whole night. So it did rise quite a bit longer than it was supposed to. So I'm hoping it's still gonna be good. We'll see. I also wanna finish my painting that I started a few days ago that you've seen me work on. There's not a lot left to it. There's only this part that I need to draw in and then I'm adding the water on all of that. I want to show you what I bought at Uniqlo yesterday because I talked about it a lot but I kind of realized I only showed you the one yellow bag that I bought but I bought some stuff and I thought I can't talk about it that much and not show it to you so it's gonna be quick a little fashion segment I bought this little t-shirt it's very comfortable it's kind of a breathable fabric so it's very nice and I wanted these cropped t-shirts because I feel like they, they have the perfect length with my pants. Because usually my cropped t-shirts are a bit higher and it's winter. I don't like showing off too much belly during the winter because it's cold. In my house it's very cold. I bought the same one in white because basics are a must. But this... <laughs> My sister has the same one but in a different color and she told me, you know my gray jacket that I wear often that has these little like hairs? It's long and it doesn't have a shape really. Well, she told me it's ugly. <laughs> and it's not anything I wear out in public but it's so comfortable. So I thought eventually when the occasion arises, I'm going to replace it. I'm not gonna go out of my way to replace it. It's just if I find the perfect thing to replace it with, then I will. So I found this, it was on sale for like maybe 20, but it was like half priced, if not more. It's so comfy. But to be honest, I might still keep my gray one. Let me know what you think. I might keep it just for the times where I need to feel extra cozy. I bought these cargo pants. 
they have pockets, a lot of pockets. They have this kind of wide leg. It doesn't flare out, but it's just wide. I got this yellow banana bag. It was half price too, $12. So then I found another bag that was also $12, also half price. So I thought I could get the both of them because both of them are different. They're both useful. And I thought for the regular pricing of this, I got two bags. So in the end, I saved money. Eh? Girl mad. <laughs> It's kind of a tote bag, it's worn like this, right now it's empty so it's a bit hard to show you. It's worn like this, but when you want to add more stuff in it, it can become pretty big. It has a big pocket on the inside. So this is what concludes this video. Sorry about my hair, <laughs> it's, it's messy. Yeah, so this is what's gonna conclude this video. I finished my painting, I love it so much. So I'm so happy because with that painting, I have finally done all the paintings that I wanted to, to do again. I had four of them I wanted to do again because the first version was made on a cheap paper and I thought the style wasn't exactly in alignment with my latest paintings of that series. So I had to debate and think about it a lot and decide if I wanted to redo these paintings. And in the end I decided to do that and I'm so happy I did. I'm going to show you all the paintings that I redid with the first version side to side so you can really see how they changed. That brings us so much closer to the end of this series. We'll see how many paintings I have, how many paintings I would like to show if I were to do an exhibition and maybe I can plan for more. I don't know yet. This is going to be for the future. The first one I did again is this one. I remember loving it so much. In fact, all of the paintings that I redid, I just loved so much and I wondered how I could get my new paintings to be as good as the old ones. But then I did this one and I was like, huh. There's something to it, something that works so well with my newer paintings. So I felt like this goes better with the style of the series that I have ongoing right now. And I also thought that the good thing about redoing them is that I could rectify some mistakes that I had done or I could accentuate some things that I loved and I knew what I wanted to have repeated in each image. So as you can notice, there's often a mountain in the distance that is very pale so I really like doing that now I know about it I like to use my darkest blue to create some lines and define shapes so now I'm doing that more I like to define the round shapes in my images compared to here where it's not as defined and the paper quality is just so much better the colors pop so much more so this was the first one that I did then, if I remember correctly, I think I did this one next. In this one, I fixed the horizon line because as you can see, this one is a little bit crooked, so this one is straighter. I focused on defining the shapes again. I knew which colors I wanted here because I've been using a specific set of colors. When it comes to this texture, for my other paintings, I've been using always the same colors. So that's what I used for these. 
so uh, it's more cohesive with the rest of my paintings and in the mountains in the background I really like using watercolor to create some blends which is not something that I did here defining the shapes overall then I did this one and I remember I was scared of starting it because of the house I thought it would have to be very precise and it did and I remember when I did this one again with Neo Color Tooth for another video which you can see here I remember I had difficulty with the house it wasn't as precise as I wanted it to be so I was kind of scared of doing a house again but I really took my time and it turned out perfect I was able to do it better this time because I had done this painting twice actually before so I was able to learn from my mistakes then again you can see the shapes here are way better defined than here uh, you can see some better contrast in that new painting you can see the mountain here see how pale that one is compared to here I also did like a blend of colors with the watercolor compared to here so yeah much better overall and to finish off we had this one which I finished today some differences compared to the other ones is that here we had a little house little canoe and people I decided not to include them in this one because I thought that in my other paintings we had no canoes no people barely any houses so I thought I don't want to ruin it I appreciate having them here but I don't think that they fit with the aesthetic that I'm going for right now so other than that I did the same thing defining the shapes I work on the path here a little bit more I modified it see here we kind of lose it a little bit and then it goes out of the frame and it comes back here I decided to keep it in and make it pop a little bit more and just work on the colors I like this color combination much better than this one so yeah that's what I did I like also the texture in the sand here compared to here while doing all of that I baked some English muffins as you saw they were so good mmm delicious and they weren't too much work at all it's just the baking part that was a little bit longer but even then it wasn't that long then I baked these lemon and poppy seed cakes and what else did I bake? I think that's it. I'm making some bread today. I'm gonna bake it tomorrow. And what else? Yesterday, I went to a two hour dance class. It was very intense. But I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. Let me know anything you want to tell me in the comments below. And I will see you again in two weeks. Take care. Bye.